I'd make a reference to scotch. But that, <laughs> contrary to popular belief, is apple juice that was provided to me by individuals that we visited in California. I don't know the legalities. We're here to talk to you about why AccuAir is worth it because if you guys didn't know, we took a visit down there. In fact, we're still there right now. We're in front of this lovely car that's all the way on the ground. It only took us a couple minutes to figure out how to get it there, but that's besides the point. And we really wanted to talk about like why AccuAir is worth it because when we go into our audience, when we talk about the comments, when we look at people and what they're saying and things like that, the biggest thing that people say is like, wow, it's really expensive. I don't really know why people would buy it or why is it so different than anything else and that's actually a really good point when you look in the like anything that you're buying for wheels tires and suspension you can't really see the differences in it on the surface level and, and that goes with anything in life you go with wheels and if you look at wheels entry-level wheels versus expensive wheels in the same design you're not gonna know that there's a lot of different things that are happening within the metal within the, the quality the testing the R&D and everything behind the scenes to actually justify the difference in cost and that's why when you hear people talking about expensive wheels versus non expensive wheels or what we would call real wheels versus rep wheels or even fake wheels, people have a tendency to get a little feisty. And that's the same thing that happens with air suspension because air suspension as a whole can be kind of gone into at a very low price point and at a very high price point. And sometimes because people don't know the difference, they think that the cheapest version is identical to the most expensive version, which is entirely not the case. And that's something that we got to learn here at AccuWare as in terms of why AccuWare is worth it because of all the the, the shit that they do from like start to finish. So I'm Alex from Fitment Industries. Don't forget to subscribe. I am going to keep having my apple juice because it's delicious and it tastes really good. So just give me a hot minute. And we're gonna talk to you as to why AccuAir is worth it. And this is something that we've kind of been looking towards talking about. Now we actually have a little bit more information, mostly because Dustin, Reno, and I sat in this like cube, like office space that's only like 10 foot by 10 foot. It was a little uncomfortable. We finally got to talk about the intricacies of AccuAir suspension systems. So one of the coolest things that we learned right off the gate with AccuAir is just how they develop the product. So if you guys didn't know, I'm gonna compare this a lot to wheels because I think it's important. When you're buying a set of Volks, a lot of the money that you spend on their Volks are rays or anything like that or works for instance are really spent to be into the R&D for future projects as well if you guys didn't know the radial impact testing the fatigue testing and all that stuff costs a lot of money one of the coolest things that we got to learn about with AccuAir is their continuous development into their e-level system if you guys did not know the CVT system or the endo tank system that they developed just a little bit ago actually was pretty tough to do and because of where they're at in terms of what they develop and where they price things at and how they kind of make sure that everything is top-notch allows them to continue to do that. The R&D that was put into the products that we got to look at while we were at the AccuAir headquarters was absolutely insane. I mean, straight off the gate, when you talk about their little, the tanks that aren't tanks, they got, there's a fancy name for it and I forgot it already. But what they ended up doing is they go into, they test it for out of roundness, they test it to make sure that the hardness is actually at spec that they need to. If it's not, they send it back. If it's out of roundness, they send it back. If it is in roundness and they passes all of their internal testing to sent off to machining where it gets machined and it gets all the ports and everything that you need, it gets painted, it comes in. All of the, like the wiring harnesses, you talk about the Wabco compressors, you talk about the end caps and everything in between is like meticulously touched on and worked on to make sure that the component is pretty much perfect. And when you talk about that in terms of from start to finish, having so many different systems in place to make sure that something is actually going to deliver the way that it's going to is pretty neat. You guys might be wondering like, well, those don't really make a lot of differences in comparison to another brand or another competitor. And you could argue that, sure. It's the same reason that you don't really talk shit about a product until that product breaks, right? Nobody goes out on Facebook to write a five-star review. Nobody. But the moment that something comes out semi-cold from Culver's, you know your ass is gonna be writing a one-star review because it was the one time that you had a bad experience. That's how products work nowadays. A lot of times people don't notice some of the bigger things that companies do to keep their products working as intended. And that was something that we noticed here at AccuWare too. A lot of like the things that they put in place, a lot of the tests, a lot of the R&D, a lot of the back-end stuff that makes like the CVT system specifically, but AccuWare as a whole so neat, is the amount of little things that they do to make sure that the product continues continuously perform. In comparison to a lot of other things, let's say, sometimes people just make the content, they'll test a couple of them out of a thousand batch, and if those two, three pass, then they're ready to roll. Everything within the AccuAir system when they're going for CVT is tested all 
along the way. Every single product, every single thing. And what that really is meant for is to make sure that the product lasts over time so that you may not catch that now, but you'll always be wondering five or 10 years down the line that the product never really broke. It's kind of like that old trusty 10 mil that you never lost. You're never gonna go out to Milwaukee Tools and rate it a five star because you just expect it to perform, but you'll never be disappointed because it's never not performed before. And that's really what Acura tried to do. If you can look at it even within their end caps, the fact that they have a filtration system for their actual manifold to make sure that no debris is going into the manifold over time is something that you'll probably never see and never notice. But if that product were to fail, for instance, you're definitely gonna notice. And a lot of times people have a bad experience with that and then you get some sort of you know, angry person on Facebook like sometimes happens. You don't have to deal with that, but they don't really get recognition for that. And that's something that we noticed that's just really neat. And you talk about the testing, they throw it under water, they throw it under high loads, they put, make sure that it can handle pressure that's pretty much up to like OE, DOT spec, which if you didn't know is like a thing. So what they'll end up doing is they test these components way more than they need to because they treat their business as an OE spec company. So something that you may not know in the lovely world of wheels is that there are certain companies like NK and BBS that do perform and create OE style wheels. And because of of the legalities and the liability that comes in making OE stuff or OE plus stuff, a lot of times they have to be under way more scrutiny when it comes down to safety and quality. Now they have to, because that's just how they run their business. And that's why you'll see businesses like BBS not put out as many wheel designs as a new company would, because they're just held to an insanely high standard. Acura doesn't have to do that, but they choose to. So a lot of what they're doing, especially with the CVT system, they have to be DOT compliant, which requires some insane testing that makes absolutely no sense because the DOT sometimes have their heads so far up their own ass they couldn't even tell which way is left and right. But the fact that they go through the testing and get it all passed is something that's really cool. When you go into air suspension and Acura, which is kind of what we're talking about before, it's always hard to justify an expensive cost. It's just hard to understand any sort of expensive cost, especially when it's in something like the automotive industry. You know it just as much as I do that it's like a want commodity. You want it, but you don't necessarily need it. So when it comes down to pulling the trigger, sometimes it can be tough. You know it, I know it, and we've all been there before. One of the coolest things about this though is realizing that a lot of times when you're spending the money, at least with an AccuAir product, is how much value you get for what you're paying for. It goes into the R&D. It goes into the development of the product. It goes into making sure that like it's gonna last because that's something that's pretty neat. And it's a lot of things that you probably won't recognize right away. And that's one of the really unfortunate things of buying a new product like a CVT system is that you're not going to notice it as much as you think you would. Yeah, it's quiet. But amongst that, you're really only saving space. I'm sure, you know, Reno is going to want to shoot me for saying that. But it really comes down to that is that a lot of people won't notice the smaller details of what makes Acura so cool. The fact that we got to see it from an unbiased point of view, it's the cat's the amount of things that they put into making the system work is absolutely insane. And when you actually realize the amount of tech that's going into that E-level system, I think you'd understand why the price is set to where it's at. It's not so much as it being expensive, more than it's worth than what it says it's worth. It is what it is. And if you're looking for something that's gonna perform at the like upper echelon of products, that's probably gonna be the Acura CVT system. We think it's worth it for a couple different reasons. And if you're really looking for air suspension, you're already probably watching this video wondering why you'd pick this over something else. And really the answer is pretty kind of clear. You're just getting a damn good like thing. Everything about it seems to work well. When you talk about how it's tested, when you talk about where it's made, when you talk about who's running it, when you talk about what product applications it goes for, when you talk about how is the consistency and the reliability of it, it's like always there. And so if price is what you're hung up on, I don't think that's ever really going to change because the fact of the matter is, is that they have to put it there for the amount of value that you're getting for it. And in our eyes, it is 110% worth it if that's what you're in the market for. But at the end of the day, that call is up to you. If you guys run Accuary, if you have questions, drop a comment below. Obviously we're here, we got to learn a whole bunch of things and I could totally pass a quiz if I was asked by any of the guys here on Accuary stuff, even though I forgot what the tube tubular thing was. I made a reference to Play-Doh earlier today and I still can't remember what it is. But anyway, I'm Alex for Fitment Industries. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you later. Peace. Should I slide? What should I do? Should I? Hey, well, you're still filming. Can I just ask you?